Born Again Ideology. That's the meeting in the contemporary American mind of two great historical tendencies. On the one hand, an apocalyptic scenario. British is really faith-based, cosmological, based on really very fundamentalist forms of religion that runs directly from the Puritans to contemporary form as a fundamentalist religion which spreads everywhere in the American mind today. Coupled, on the other hand, with the growth of the security state in the United States, which itself is based on sacrificial violence and a real will to disciplining the flesh of the American body and certainly disciplining the flesh of the world itself. All of these together really comprise a new ideological formation which is alive and virulent and filled with the spirit of apocalyptic sacrificial violence. It's called the contemporary American mind. Nietzsche's prediction about the death of God, which he made in the 1900s, proved to be absolutely incorrect. In these are the beginning years of the 21st century. The world is aflame everywhere with, in fact, a God who's very much alive, who's rolled the dice once more. Not just Christian fundamentalism in the United States, Hindu fundamentalism in India with the BJP, the India Shining Movement, Islamic fundamentalism, Judaic fundamentalism in the form of Zionism. Everywhere, the question of God is alive, it trembles, begins to infect world politics. Except this time, the second appearance of God does something really different. It's not simply the return of God in traditional religious format, but in fact, a great kind of historical intersection is taking place. An intersection between the reappearance of religious belief everywhere as the animating spirit of politics, and of culture, of ethics and personal life, you know, faith-based politics. It intersects with something that was not supposed to touch at all with the question of technology. Everywhere the question of religion today runs completely parallel to, is supported by, and is really reinforced by the strength of the empires of technology. I think, for example, in the United States, where faith-based religion runs parallel and is really reinforced by the emergence of an imperial project which is dependent technologically upon not simply empire politics, which projects its power in a virulent way around the world, but which is also involved in building within its own domestic population a kind of surveillance network. It's completely dependent on forms of cyber surveillance which are technologically enabled. In India, Hindu fundamentalism was made possible but it was encouraged by the BJP, the political party, party of the India Shani movement which created the software industry in India itself. And Islamic fundamentalism and Judaic fundamentalism, there are forms of religion you know, which run alongside and parallel to really experimental, innovative, and very powerful uses of technology itself. So what's to explain the fact today that when God comes alive again, when we're living in the age of the second coming of God, that the question of technology is not opposite, you know, is not the opposition to, the question of technology is not an opposition to or an opponent of religion, but in fact intersects and runs directly parallel to the question of religion. Yeah. <laughs>